In this video, I'll be describing step-by-step -step how to make a pivot table in Google Sheets. To follow the instructions in this video, you should already have survey results in Google Forms. If you haven't yet made a Google Forms survey, see our video about making surveys with Google Forms. To get started, log into Google, navigate to your Google Forms page, and choose your survey. I'm choosing feelings about tests. When you land on your survey page, click on responses and then on the spreadsheet icon. The Google Sheet shows all of the results so far from my survey of people's feelings about tests. The top row shows the names of all of my items. In row 11, I've written some notes to remind me what the numbers and some of the columns mean. I recommend that you do this in your spreadsheet if you have columns with numbers that don't make sense without an explanation. The first step in making a pivot table is to choose the data you want to use. Here, I've selected all of my items and all of the rows with data in them. Next, Click on the Data tab and select Pivot Table. You will now see this view and a new tab, Pivot Table 1, on the bottom of your screen. Click anywhere in the table to open the Report Editor. Then click on Rows, Add Field. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. You have to decide which of your items you want to put in rows. Usually, the best row items have responses that are words rather than numbers. I have a few good row items in my survey. I could use male or female, a good test is, or tests are important because. For this pivot table, I'm choosing male or female. I don't really want a grand total in my table, so I'm going to unclick Show Totals. And now I just have two rows, male and female. Now I want to compare how males and females feel about tests. So I need to select the values add field. The first thing I want to know is if males and females feel the same way about tests. But just before I add the values items in a pivot table, I like to make a guess about what the result is likely to be. What do you think? Do you think boys like tests better than girls? Or that girls like tests better than boys? Hmm, these results look a little weird. They add up to a bigger number than the number of rows in my spreadsheet. Ah, uh, here's why. Google Sheets is adding up all the scores instead of figuring out the average score. It's easy enough to fix, though. All you have to do is click on Sum and select Average from the menu that pops up. Now the numbers make more sense, but they still look a little funny because they don't have the same number of decimal places. This is easy to fix. Just click on the 1, 2, 3 tab. Now the numbers look perfect. And it's easy to see that girls who took my survey like tests more than boys do. I could stop here if I wanted to and report my results in a table, but I want to make it even easier for people to see my results, so I'm going to make a chart. To make a chart, click on the More tab at the top of your spreadsheet. Then, click on the Chart icon. The first thing you'll see is a bar chart showing your results. This looks pretty cool, but I don't want to stop here. I'm thinking a pie chart might tell the story even better. To create a pie chart, all I have to do is click on the pie chart icon. Oh yeah, this is the chart I want to show in my report. To save it, all I have to do is click the insert button. It's super easy to see from this chart how much more females like tests than males. I wonder if it's really true, and if so, why? I only wish I had a bigger sample so I could be more confident about my results. 
It's pretty common to have questions like this after you do a survey. And that's not a bad thing, because you can use these questions to help you do better research. In my case, there are two things I could do to make my survey better. First, I could just get a lot more different people to take my survey. Then, if females still like tests more than males, I'd be more confident in my results. After that, I could create a new survey to try to find out what makes females like the tests better than males. There's lots more you can do with pivot tables. Go ahead and play around with the options. See if you can figure out which options give you the most useful information. And check out how different kinds of items work best in different tables and graphs.